Hello friends, welcome to Coding Jackpot. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can pass a parameter on an object from child pages to the layout page, which is the master page. So let's see in action what we are going to develop. So here, if we, if we go through the basic structure of uh, a master page, this is the default template and in default template, we have this navigation menu and this top header. Uh, these are part of the layout page or we can say the master page and this hello world is like a, a, this is a child page this counter is also a child page fetch data also a child page and home is on this is also child page so these are like getting loaded in the body part of the main layout so in this video we are going to see how we can pass values from the child pages onto the layout page so here for demonstration i have added two uh, text fields one is name and flag so i'm passing the name as james and flag as zero so here the flag zero means this side menu should get uh, uh, this will get disappear or it will be hidden so i am just passing the uh, data so here if you see on passing the flag as zero and name this name is uh, getting displayed here as, here as welcome james and if i turn on the flag for tom and make it one then i can again based on this flag the side menu is uh, visible and the name is again updated here so let's see how we can write the piece of code so here i have opened a visual studio project and this is a default blazor project and named it as demo 33 and in this we have this main layout so here on this main layout i have the navigation menu i have the body and inside this body the child pages are getting loaded so as far as the child pages are concerned we have this index.razor so I'll simply remove this entire content from here and I'll add the code part. For our demo, we'll create a models folder. And inside this, I'll add a class. and inside this employee class i'll add few properties so here i've added name and a flag these two properties are added inside this class now going to this uh, child page which is index.razor here i'm creating a object of employee so i have to import the models folder and here i'll create So here I have created a new employee and I'll simply create a form to accept the values for the two fields. So inside this index.razor page, I have added a simple form and it says like employee.name is binded to this text box and we have this employee.flag and the third we have a button and that which says send data to layout page and it on click of that button we have to create this send data so i'll simply create a method fine so it's a simple method now we have to write the actual code which will pass the value from index.razor page onto the layout page so here so the data whatever we are receiving that will be received from the body section like this index.razor page is getting loaded in this body section so we'll have to add the cascading parameter value cascading value section and we have to move this body inside this cascading value
and here we have to pass the value equal to we have to name the event employee tick okay and this event employee we have to define here as an event callback before that we have to simply use uh, import this uh, models folder because we are going to receive the employee object from the index page so we have to import it here now we have to create an event so here it's a simple event callback and the receiving parameter is the employee employee object and we have to call this event ca uh, callback dot factory dot create and this uh, we have to pass this uh, layout page as the first parameter and then we have to uh, pass the action and the receiving input whatever class or uh, we are receiving here and we have to name that event so it is we have named it as notify layout with employee so we have to create this event as a local method so let's create that so before that we have to define two local variables here so we have defined menu flag as a boolean and we have to set it to true and another thing we have defined the employee as an emp object so whatever we are receiving from this uh, child page index.razor that will be uh, uh, received in this event employee trigger and which uh, that will be assigned again back to the local method which is notify employee with uh, notify layout with employee this is the local method so and whatever we are receiving as a as a uh, trigger that we that we are receiving as a cascading value from this to this event employee so here we see we have like uh, we have to define that uh, event but first let write the let's write the method to receive the code so here we have written this method private void notify employee with um, uh, notify layout with employee it will receive the employee object and it will set assign it to the local variable and if the employee flag is one then we are setting the flag as true and if it is zero then or other than one then we are setting it as false now here inside this div we simply have to write a code to display the name of the employee and here this sidebar will be uh, made visible and invisible based on the flag so here we can write if menu flag equal to equal to true then we have to display the side menu else it will be hidden so this menu flag and here inside this we can write a span So if employee is not equal to null then we can write simply welcome and then the name of the employee in the red color so this is the simple code so we are done with our part on this uh, layout page so the layout page will receive the value in this event employee and it will assign to this local variable which will indirectly create a event callback using this factory dot create and it will assign to this local method now going back to this index dot razor page here we have this method send data now to send the data we have to create a similar kind of event callback here on this index.razor page so let's create that so here we have to create simple cascading parameter and it's a event callback with the same uh, input parameter as employee and we have named it as notify the lay uh, layout so here inside this send uh, this send data is being uh, triggered from this button so inside this button send data dot invoke invoke async we have to pass the employee so from the child page or the main page we are calling we have to simply fire this uh, event callback uh, with a tag of cascading parameter and on the main page it will be received as a cascading value on the body section so let's see how it works let's run it
okay so let's name it as let's make it zero so here we have it welcome james let's make it as don and one so we have it again so we have the name and the uh, uh, like uh, the action on the menu item side menu based on the flag so similarly this type of uh, this kind of code can be used whenever we want to update the login logout or we want to show some other menu based on the role uh, or or the flag if if the flag is one then we have to show different menu if the flag is two then we have to we can show some different menu so likewise this is a very important part where we can from child pages we can interact with the parent page so that was it in this video see you in the next video